Welcome back Etsy sellers. If you're looking to boost your sales and get your products in front of more people with yourself in the driver's seat, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into the world of user generated content or what you guys might know as UGC, as well as influencers and how to use them to your advantage to boost the sales of your Etsy shop. I'm going to show you how to source creators, manage creators, negotiate pricing, create contracts, and much more. So needless to say, you're going to want to stick around to the end of this video to be able to get a leg up on all of the other Etsy sellers who are not using professional creators to their advantage. You guys ready? Let's dive in. So first of all, why is sourcing UGC creators and influencers important for Etsy sellers like yourself? Well, it's simple. UGC and influencers can help increase your shop's visibility, provide social proof, and ultimately potentially contribute to driving more sales. When potential customers see real people using your products, they are more inclined to make a purchase because people buy from people, not from brands. So here's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. How to source creators, how to manage creators, how to negotiate pricing and incentives, how to create a contract with creators that benefits both of you, what types of content creators should be producing for you, and how actually to utilize the creator's content within your own social media accounts and your Etsy shop. Feel free if you have a need, you can head to the description of this video. I do have timestamps for all of the different sections that we are going to be discussing. If you need to jump around or if you want to come back to a particular section, you can find the timestamps within the description. So first up, how do we actually find the creators for our shops? You can start by searching relevant hashtags on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, like Etsy handmade, Etsy finds, TikTok made me buy it, or specific tags related to your product or your niche. You wanna look for creators who have a good engagement rate rather than a large number of followers. And also look for content that aligns with your brand's current aesthetic. Once you find those potential creators, we do want to go ahead and check out their engagement rate. And you can also get an idea of how many followers they have. I recommend staying between people who have 1,000 to 10,000 followers because that makes them a micro influencer and they often have a more engaged audience overall and also cost less per piece of content created for you. You can also type in hashtags like hashtag UGC creators, hashtag UGC community, hashtag UGC creators needed to find UGC creators who are actually willing to create content in exchange simply for your product. The reason why this is the case is especially because beginner or brand new UGC creators might be interested in just growing the portfolio that they're currently building as well as their review base for their professional services. Next, let's talk about exactly how to actually manage these creators once you find them. In order to get the best bang for your buck and make this a fun experience rather than a headache, communication is key. You can use tools like Trello, Asana, Google Sheets, whatever works for your business to make sure deadlines, expectations, and roles and responsibilities are outlined between the two of you. And yes, this does include your responsibilities as well. For example, let's say you have to send the product to them for them to be able to curate your content. Within that task management software that you decide to move forward with could be you send the product to them, then they send an idea of what they want the content to be for your approval. Then they send you the proposal of the video before publishing it also for your approval. Clearly outlining your expectations and both of your roles and responsibilities, plus providing them with a brief that includes your brand's guidelines, information about the product, and some content ideas that you might already have is really going to make this such a better experience for both parties. Now let's talk money. When negotiating pricing with small creators, large creators, or UGC creators, be upfront about your your budget. You can offer free products, commissions on sales, or just post payment. For example, you might say we can offer you $50 for a video plus free product and make sure to discuss exactly what those terms are immediately in the beginning before moving forward. Be advised 
influencers with a larger following could cost you upwards of $1,000 per piece of content, which is not a good idea for a small business investment right now. So remember this when you're doing your research in step one, bigger does not always mean better. So now let's discuss the contract piece of it. Creating a contract protects both you and the creator. I want you to include details like the content deliverables, the pricing agreement, the payment structure and timeline, as well as any potential usage rights. This is very important. And if you do not know what usage rights are, let's go ahead and dive into this for just a few brief moments. Usage rights basically are what creators like myself allow brands to utilize our content in and for how long. So for example, some creators will only allow you to use their content organically, which means you can place it on your Instagram, you can place it on your TikTok. Some creators will also only allow usage rights where it's actually on their account only. There's other creators that require you to pay a paid advertising rights fee should you decide to use their content in paid ads on Meta, Instagram, Pinterest, etc. So you will need to have this discussion with them early on, whether they're an influencer, a large creator, a small creator, or a UGC creator, because that will determine what you are able to do with the content as well as how much it's going to cost you in the end. Once you have all of that decided upon, you can go ahead and use a tool like HelloSign, DocuSign, HoneyBook, etc. to get your contract out to the creator and get it signed back to you. Next up, you might be wondering what kind of content you should even be asking for in the first place. Think about unboxing videos, product demonstrations, product tutorials, product reviews, and of course, lifestyle shots. You want to encourage these creators to be very authentic and share their real experience while using your product. What we don't want to do is make these videos or these images seem salesy, but instead we want them to feel raw and convincing that that creator actually purchased your item and it helped solve X, Y, and Z problems for them. Finally, once you have the content, it is time to make the most of it. Again, based on whatever usage rights you and the creator come to an agreement on, you might be able to share it to your own social media channels. You might be able to place it on your website if that's where you also have your products listed. And you also might be able to place it on your Etsy shop within listing photos. There's also a thing called the Etsy Explore page on the Etsy app, which is full of different videos, kind of like a social media feed. That is another great location to have the content that your creators created for you to be displayed throughout. You could also add clips of these different chosen creators and create one big bundle video that you can place without sound on each of your Etsy listings as well. And there you have it guys, sourcing and working with UGC creators and influencers is not that hard and it should be something that you should start doing, especially when Q4 and 2025 is already on its way to us. Working with these people could significantly boost your Etsy visibility as well as your Etsy sales. And now you know the exact main steps to making it happen for your brand. Remember to find the right creators, manage them appropriately, figure out pricing, usage rights, and incentives, create clear and concise and understandable contracts that benefit both parties and use their content wisely. If you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up by liking the video. Also recommend that you subscribe to the YouTube channel because we post a video just like this for our Etsy and e-commerce sellers every Tuesday. And we also go live with a free training for you guys every Thursday as well. If you did in fact like this video, please do me a favor and comment UGC below this video so that we can understand that we are making content that is benefiting your business. Well, that's all the time we have for today. And until the next time, I will see you in the next video.